Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been dying to cook. So today I'm doing the spaghetti with the meat sauce and cheese um, that goes in the oven. I'm excited. So here are my ingredients, uh, the stuff I'll be using. So obviously we're going to get our water, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to boil spaghetti. I've been really bored around the house lately, so it's really fun that I get to finally start cooking and doing something because school's done, basically. And obviously we're going to put salt to our water because... Um, you know, the spaghetti gotta be needs to have taste. You know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna take care of the what goes in the other pan. So that's like our sauce, that's our meat, that's our vegetables. So obviously the first step will be our vegetables, getting our vegetables, washing our vegetables, that's the most important part, and then cutting them. So um, here are my vegetables. So I have an onion, I have red pepper, I have tomato, and jalapeno as well as garlic. My mom bought this thing with the garlic already cut in pieces, which is a lifesaver. I don't have to stress myself. And yeah, we're gonna wash our vegetables. I honestly think like a secret to like making your sauce really tasty are vegetables. That's what my mom taught me. Especially red pepper. Um, it really like adds a lot of taste to your sauces. So yeah, we're going to cut your vegetables, you know. I cut vegetables a lot, so I'm just naturally really good at it. So yeah. So now we have our jalapenos. For that, I literally just cut them like in circles and then I cut them kind of like everywhere around the place and I make them smaller and yeah, that's kind of like how I cut them. Tomatoes is like it's one of the main secret ingredients that adds a lot of taste to your tomato sauces because I understand using tomato paste obviously it's tomato but it's gonna taste very bland and not as good so if you add tomato pieces like that really adds a fresh and natural taste to your sauces so yeah that's that's the secret always adding tomatoes so now we're cutting onions obviously like that's the main ingredient <laughs> like we always gonna have onions everywhere um yeah i was trying not to tear up while cutting this Here's me regretting my life decisions after cutting onions because mm -mm, that was a lot. And here are my perfectly cut and small pieces of vegetables. I'm always so proud when I cut vegetables because they always look so good. So now um, we're going to add our salt. I think I mentioned it before, but now I'm adding the salt. And we're going to add our spaghetti. So I used to cut the spaghetti in half, but I have learned the hard way that that's not how you do it. Well, anyone's preferences, it's not, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we're going to put our spaghetti inside and we're gonna just going to let it like soften until all the spaghetti is are inside the, yeah. Um, so yeah, now we're going to take care of our meat. So what I like to do personally, this is turkey by the way, I don't have ground beef at home right now. But what I like to do personally is just smash the meat and season it separately before adding it with the vegetables. Um, because when I add it with the vegetables, I want the vegetables to mainly give the taste. So we're going to use salt, we're going to use beef seasoning, we're going to use pepper, we're going to use paprika, and we're going to use um, Jamaican curry, which gives an amazing taste. And yeah, now we're going to put our oil in the pan, and then we're going to be adding our vegetables, and later on we're going to add our meat. So I let the vegetables um, fry for a little, and then I add my meat. So when you add your vegetables, you don't add the whole thing. You're rather going to add half of it. You're going to add most of the onions, the jalapeno, as well as the red pepper. But you're not going to add any of the tomatoes. Because frying the tomatoes is just going to ruin the purpose. You're not going to see it. You're not going to taste it. You're going to add the tomato part um, when you get to like really making the sauce and stirring the sauce. You're going to add it into the sauce. And that's really when you're going to feel the taste and stuff like that. So here are the vegetables. They're frying. And when they're halfway there, we're going to add the meat. Here's my meat after I have seasoned it. It's still a little bit frozen, but yeah. And here's after I've added my meat to my frying vegetable. And we're gonna let it fry until our meat is completely cooked. So this is when the spaghetti is done. 
my spaghetti is done i rushed to put it into a bowl and we're going to add some um butter into it you're going to mix it because you're going to add a little bit like of creamy taste you know to your spaghetti and then you're just going to mix it around and stir and stuff like that until you like it personally i like to add a lot of butter but it's up to you guys So after my meat, I didn't film it, but after my meat had finished cooking, I added some tomato paste and then I added, um, I didn't add seasoning, I added some tomato paste and I added water. And honestly, the ratio of water to tomato paste depends on you guys. It's up to what you guys want. Some people like it more pasty, some people like it more liquidy. I like it liquidy, but not too, too, too liquidy. Um, <coughs> so the first ingredient I added was baking soda because obviously like that's what reduces the amount of acidity which hurts like the back of your jaw i also added some chili powder because that adds a nice taste so i add all my um seasoning my powder seasoning and then i add vegetables and i um focus on perfectioning really the taste of the sauce so we're gonna add pepper the same thing we've added to the meat um jamaican curry paprika as well as beef seasoning and don't come for me i know it's beef seasoning but it tastes really good in sauces as well as on other meats it's just really good so i decided to add it so now you're just gonna mix the whole thing and you're gonna stir you're gonna let it simmer for five minutes come back simmer come back let it simmer because after you've added your seasoning the seasoning hasn't really had the time to really like mix with the sauce so you have to let it sit for a little like five minutes and then come back to taste it so now we're going to add our little cube of seasoning which adds not only seasoning but adds a little bit of salt as well and last but not least and the most important step is adding the remaining of our vegetables which will literally finish off the taste it will literally complete the taste of the sauce and my little secret well my mom taught me and you're just going to mix it and mix it in between so even if you don't really like vegetables you don't have to add as much but you add some so after that i transferred the spaghetti from my bowl to this glass thing i don't know how you call it and then i put the sauce on top as much as you want and then i put the shredded cheese and then i did some garlic cheese garlic um bread sorry so i put took some pieces of bread cut them um you see the the garlic pieces mix i had i put that in butter i put that on top of the bread and i added some shredded cheese and i put all that in the oven so this is how the final product looks like out of the oven it looks really good I served it to my family members and we all ate it and it was so good and they all loved it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys or I don't. Maybe. Bye.